West Omaha woman says she's glad her dog is okay tonight after a coyote attacked it. She says there have been several sightings in her neighborhood and she wants to know why. Yeah, it's KTV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser explains there is a reason and there are steps you can take to keep your pet safe. Quinicia? Rob, Julie, Nebraska Wildlife Rehab says coyotes are common throughout Nebraska and in the last two decades, more of them are popping up in urban areas. Nancy Chacon's small dog came back inside safely after this video of her tangling with a coyote. I know my neighbors have concerns too. But Sissy wasn't so lucky Sunday night. The one time I didn't, I, I got lax and let her out. That's, that's when it happened and I, you know, I clearly am beating myself up over it. Chacon says she let her dog out in their backyard that has an electrical or invisible fence. In a matter of seconds, she says a coyote bit Sissy. She was lucky she was only injured and fortunately there were no internal injuries. Sissy is now on antibiotics and pain meds. Village Point and places west are close to wide open spaces like agricultural ground. And so it's very common to see coyotes on the outskirts of Omaha. Laura Stastny, the executive director of Nebraska Wildlife Rehab, says humans and their pets can coexist with coyotes safely. But there are some things you should do. If you're out walking where there are coyotes, keep your dogs on a leash and keep them close to you. She also recommends having a physical fence behind your home. Electric fences are really good. Those underground electric fences are really good maybe for keeping your dog in. But of course, it doesn't keep coyotes out. And it also doesn't keep other neighborhood dogs or people from getting into your yard who could harm your dog. Chacon says that's exactly what she plans to do now. We just feel we, we, we're going to have to get one for the protection of our, of our, of our dog. Nebraska Wildlife Rehab says you should also vaccinate your pets to protect them from diseases wildlife can carry. Laura Stastny also recommends keeping cats, pet food, and water inside. In the newsroom, Quinicia Fraser, KETV, Newswatch 7.